a slow one No, I don't take shit, I got no love But the fake is, if you wanna play tough And wanna hate this, I'll always show up And make a statement, I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit, I got no love But the fake is, if you wanna play tough And wanna hate this, I'll always show up And make a statement I'm gonna learn the consequence it's WWE 2K22 Universe Mode episode number 35. Welcome to WWE Main Event. And it is the main event following the biggest party of the Summer Summer Slam. And what an eventful night it was in Phoenix. And on that night, a new Cruiserweight Champion was crowned in the one and only Ricochet, who we will see in action in tonight's main event. It is a big time six man tag team matchup as Santos Escobar, along with the rest of Legado del Fantasma, team up to take on the new Cruiserweight Champion Ricochet, Isaiah, Swerve Scott, and a mystery tag team partner of those two men. What a six man tag team match we have coming up in tonight's main event. Let's get things underway here from Orlando. And kicking us off tonight is a singles contest between two men who are looking to get back in the winning ways after suffering numerous losses over the past number of weeks. The Swiss Superman Cesaro set for action against Dominic Dijakovic. This is going to be an awesome in-ring battle. Kicking us off here tonight from Orlando on WWE Main Event. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Lucerne, Switzerland. Weighing in at 232 pounds, Cesaro! Last time we saw Cesaro in action, he came up short against the Prince Finn Balor. So Cesaro's going to be looking to bounce back tonight. That was his return to the ring a number of weeks ago when he faced Finn Balor. Unfortunately, as we mentioned, coming up short did the Swiss Superman, but tonight he's going one-on-one -on -one with Dominic Dijakovic. And the last time we saw Dijakovic, he took a loss to then Intercontinental Champion Sheamus in that one-on-one -on -one contest for the Intercontinental Championship on Monday Night Raw. So both men suffering some big-time losses as of late. They've been paired one-on-one -on -one here in the ring tonight to try to bounce back. Somebody's got to get their hand raised, and something's got to give between these two competitors here this evening. Cesaro is in the ring, set for battle. And here comes the opponent. Feast your eyes on one of the most impressive combatants today, Dominic Dijakovic. And his opponent from Kingsboro, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds, Dominic Dijakovic. And as Dijakovic makes his way to the ring and we get set for this opening contest, as we mentioned, this past Sunday night, June 26th, the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. And what an incredible, absolutely amazing night it was inside the squared circle in Phoenix, Arizona. Five championships were on the line, nine matches in total. New champions were crowned. Some classic matches that we will never forget, such as AJ Styles versus Edge, Bobby Lashley and Randy Orton. Ricochet and Santos Escobar for the Cruiserweight Championship. And those two men are going to be in our main event tonight. Go out of your way to watch the replay right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel if you missed out on the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. Now, while you're at it, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below as we get set for our opening contest, Cesaro versus Dominic Dijakovic to kick us off on the main event after SummerSlam. Cesaro coming out swinging. Look at this right away here. Multiple shots on Dijakovic. You know these men... Got a sense of urgency coming into this matchup as Cesaro immediately goes for the bridge into the cover, but Dijakovic gets the shoulder up. As I was about to say, these two men coming into this match with a fire under them tonight, a sense of urgency to get their hand raised. We talked about that during their entrances, the numerous losses these men have taken over the last number of weeks, and they're trying to battle back here tonight. And both men got a lot going for them inside of that squared circle, the size, the strength of both combatants. Dijakovic probably... The more agile, excuse me, of the two. But Cesaro, probably the pound for pound, one of the strongest men in the WWE today. It's going to be a very interesting contest as Cesaro is taking control since the opening contest here tonight. And as we mentioned, still to come in tonight's main event, a big six-man tag team matchup stemming from the Cruiserweight Championship affair at SummerSlam. The new Cruiserweight Champion Ricochet teams up with his buddy Isaiah Swerve Scott. And those two men are going to have a mystery tag team partner in their corner. And they're going to meet Santos Escobar, Raul Mendoza, and Legado del Fantasma's Joaquin Wilde, the trio in the ring tonight. 
What a six-man tag team match that's going to be coming up later this evening, right here from Orlando. A Cesaro now has got Dijakovic in a predicament. Nuff, nice gut wrench suplex there. And Dijakovic really can't mount the offense just yet in this opening few minutes. And Cesaro into the cover on Dijakovic, but Mr. Dijakovic getting the shoulder up, keeping his chance at winning this match alive, at least for another moment. He's got to come out swinging here. Cesaro's been in control since the opening bell. Dijakovic knows that, and he hits the backbreaker on Cesaro. Dijakovic beating down on Cesaro, and as he does, we wanted to remind you to check out SummerSlam if you missed it. As Dijakovic with that springboard leg drop, at the same time, we also want to remind you, as this is the main event after SummerSlam, to go check out the replay of the Raw after SummerSlam. And what a night that was this past Monday Night on Raw. A big tag team main event between Austin Theory as well as the Colossal Omas on his side. As those two men took on the franchise, John Cena and the Rated R Superstar, the new WWE Champion Edge. Meanwhile, Cesaro's taking Dijakovic for a ride here. Big swing right in the ring. And Dijakovic takes the fall. And Cesaro, that may be the maneuver that grants him the victory here. And Dijakovic get a fee. Gonna be feeling dazed after that, but he's still got some life in him to battle back against the Swiss Superman. I give credit to Cesaro, man. He has been in control for the majority of this contest thus far. Dijakovic has really got to start mounting some offense there, and he does with a boot and then follows up with the elbow drop. Nice that. Oh, man. Dijakovic thought he was going for a moonsault there, but he switches up with a corkscrew on Cesaro, and Cesaro gets the shoulder up again. As we mentioned, the last time we saw Dijakovic in this ring was when he went one-on-one -on -one with, with Sheamus in the Monday Night Raw main event a number of weeks ago for the Intercontinental Championship. And Dijakovic was super impressive in that contest. Of course, he came up short on that night. Looking to bounce back here, and he's looking impressive as, as he continues to mount offense against Cesaro. Sends a Swiss Superman into the corner, and Cesaro's got to be feeling it here. Dijakovic's really coming out swinging this last minute or so in this contest. Cesaro's days, Dijakovic follows it up with the discus lariat. You're seeing it throughout this contest. Is, wait a minute, Dijakovic goes for the cover on Cesaro. And the shoulder up for Cesaro. But we're seeing it throughout this contest, as we mentioned, Dijakovic really showcasing his, his abilities here. So agile and so innovative in that ring is Dijakovic. But Cesaro keeping it simple there, sends him off the top rope. But Dijakovic's still in there. We're seeing a lot of near falls in this contest as we get start to get to the later rounds with both men hanging in there and Dijakovic using his strength over Cesaro as we mentioned in the first earlier part of this matchup both men definitely have the size and strength factor going for them Cesaro most likely the stronger of the two but Dijakovic most likely the more agile of the two as he's showcasing some of those abilities here look at that Dijakovic's been all over Cesaro. Cesaro really hasn't had an answer for some of Dijakovic's innovative offense in this contest as now he heads to the top and hits that splash on the Swiss Superman. Cesaro's down. Will Dominic Dijakovic be able to capitalize here? He's got Cesaro where he wants him. Reverse fireman's carry position. Feast your eyes by Dijakovic. And that splits Cesaro open the knee right above the eye. And Dominic Dijakovic picks up the win in our opening contest here tonight. Cesaro is in control of the first number of minutes. But as you saw there, Dijakovic using his strengths to his abilities. The Agile paid him dividends. Able to hit that feast your eyes on Cesaro. Leaving him with a cut above the eye. And Dijakovic gets the win here tonight. And Cesaro, respect where it's due. A nice shake of the hands by these two combatants. Tonight was not Cesaro's night. But he will live to fight another day. But Dijakovic gets his hand raised and is back in the winning ways here in the WWE. Nice win to kick off main event here this evening. Well, the women's division here in WWE has surely been exciting as of late. And it's going to continue here tonight on main event as we got a singles action lined up for you. Io Shirai is on her way to the ring. This is going to be a good one from the women's division. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan, Io Shirai. 
Last time we saw Io Shirai inside the square circle, she came up short against Shotzi. But speaking of Shotzi, we take you back to SummerSlam on June 26th, this past Sunday, where Shotzi finally able to get her hand raised and defeat Bianca Belair in their third meeting in the last number of months to become the new WWE Women's Champion. Unfortunately for Shotzi, the money in the bank was cashed in on that night by the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, who showed up to capitalize on a weakened opponent. And Asuka walked out of SummerSlam with the WWE Women's Championship. As we mentioned when we first came back, the women's division surely been exciting as of late. The championship is as prestigious as ever. And in matches like this, it's all about getting the win and continue to elevate yourself as future contenders for the WWE Women's Championship. And Io Shirai's opponent tonight is a woman making her debut from NXT for the first time here on the main roster. Welcome, Indy Hartwell. Going one-on-one -on -one with Io Shirai, it's going to be a very interesting opponent for Io to face here tonight. The occasional tag team partner of Candice LeRae set for singles action here on main event. And from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. This should be a very interesting contest. These two women have met before in NXT. Io Shirai, of course, has been up on the main roster for a number of months. She participated in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match all the way back on May the 2nd in Philadelphia. The night where Asuka originally pulled down that briefcase and sent her on the road that she is on now as the WWE Women's Champion. But Indy Hartwell set for her main roster debut tonight. Always a big opportunity when you show up for the first time. More women getting added to the division as of late. And it continues here tonight on Main Event. It should be a good one. Io Shirai versus Indy Hartwell continuing us on here on Main Event. The Main Event after SummerSlam. And we are underway with the singles contest and immediately Io Shirai with the scissors into the double stomp. And again, these women have meant before in NXT, but it's been quite some time. And Io Shirai has had her eye on the main roster as of late. The women that she's been involved with, the Shotzi's, the Oscars, the Bianca Belair's. India Hartwell, on the other hand, is coming in fresher than Io Shirai. Again, making her debut for the NXT roster, Indy Hartwell, even though she's been in the ring with Io Shirai before, there's a lot of women on the main roster that she has not been inside the square circle with. And that's always going to play a factor and could play a factor in the favor of Indy Hartwell, not just here tonight, but in the future here in the WWE. Win, lose, or draw, she's going to be a woman to keep an eye on here in the women's division is Io Shirai. Look at the battle back. Nice Hurricane Rana sends Indy down. That's definitely going to be where Io Shirai is going to have her strong suits in this contest. She's going to have to favor her speed and her high-flying abilities. And we know Io Shirai is no stranger to the sky as she puts Indy Hartwell on the top rope here. What is Shirai looking to do? Springboard and a kick to the side of the head of Indy Hartwell. Indy's down. Io Shirai's going where she's most comfortable to the top rope and drops a picture-perfect elbow drop on Hartwell there. Into the cover. Indy gets the shoulder up a little early on to get the victory, but Io Shirai coming out swinging here tonight in this women's division contest. And Indy Hartwell battling back with the clothesline. We talked about Io Shirai's strong suit. It's going to be her speed and agility and her high-flying offense in this contest. Indy Hartwell, on the other hand, has got the size and the strength going for her, but she's not afraid to go to the sky as well. She comes from the top with a beautiful frog splash on Io Shirai. And Shirai gets the shoulders up, but that's going to hurt more than usual. As we mentioned, Indy Hartwell's got the size over Io Shirai. Definitely going to come crashing down just a little bit harder. It's been an awesome matchup between these two women just the last two minutes or so. Io once again takes her over with that Frankensteiner there. So we're coming out swinging on a nice double knees by Io Shirai. Indy's down. Shirai once again going to go into the cover on Indy. And Indy gets the shoulder up. And as we mentioned, every win and every loss is going to favor in the future. Oh, did you see that there? Had to cut myself off. Io Shirai went for the drop kick. But it was very interesting as e Indy Hartwell got out of the way but followed it and countered it with a senton to the back. And now she follows that up with a knee and a submission hold in here on Shirai. But Shirai able to escape. But that was great offense from Indy Hartwell. Capitalizing on a situation. Definitely making the most of it there. As we are mentioned, every win, loss in the women's division is going to favor into who gets future women's championship opportunities. And with the women's title so involved right now, 
It's going to be very interesting to see who's going to be next up to face the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Now, wait a minute. Look at this. Io Shirai here. Double hooks. Indy and takes her down to the canvas. And once again, Shirai into the cover. And Hartwell gets the shoulder up. Great offense, though, from Io Shirai. Remember, it was this past Monday Night on Raw, we talked about the events of SummerSlam, but Asuka took that momentum in to Indianapolis, Indiana on Monday night, where she retained the Women's Championship in her first defense in this reign over Casey Catanzaro, another newcomer to the women's division as of late. And now look at this, Indy Hartwell looking to make a name for herself over Shirai here. Submission hold locked in once again in this contest. Will Shirai tap out here? Will it be enough? But Shirai, look at that. And I got to think that Indy Hartwell may have been able to put Io Shirai away, possibly with one of these submission holds, had she done more damage beforehand. It may be kind of a big match moment for Indy Hartwell, again, making her main roster debut here tonight. She's got to be feeling the pressure under the bright lights of Orlando here to this evening. Now Io Shirai once again, look at that double underhook German suplex there. Taking the larger woman off her feet. Now Io Shirai once again heading to the top rope. Indy's down and out. Shirai has got other plans here. I think she saw Indy Hartwell getting to her feet and Shirai playing it smart there. Probably the safe bet to not go diving and possibly come crashing down on the canvas below. And Indy's days, Io Shirai's gonna look to capitalize here. Shirai's got this match where she wants her at the current moment. Indy's down, Shirai's headed to the top rope, could be looking for maybe that elbow drop again, and she hits it for the second time in this matchup, right to the stardom of Indy Hartwell. And gonna follow it up with those double knees. Shirai aiding on that striking offense there, and as she's headed to the top rope once more, it goes for the elbow drop again, but this time for the third time, Indy Hartwell had it scouted. Shirai going to the well too many times with that elbow, and the impressive woman making her debut here tonight. Had that move scouted. Now finds Io Shirai in her predicament here. The momentum has swung back in the corner of Indy Hartwell. She now double underhook Shirai and follows it up with the DDT. And that may be enough to knock Io Shirai out. Just a long enough for the victory here. But Shirai gets the shoulder up. Still has got fight left in her. Indy's on the outside now. Io's days. Wait a minute. Io Shirai. Just got out of the way in the nick of time as Indy Hartwell went for that springboard drop kick. Had it scattered, but Io Shirai was right there, not in the place where Indy, Harder, Indy Hartwell wanted her. Now, Indy Hartwell may have cost herself an opportunity to win this match off that springboard maneuver. Now Io Shirai looking to capitalize here on the mistake from Hartwell. Takes her over and hits her with a drop kick right to the face. She's dazed. Wait a minute. Io Shirai brings her down to the canvas. She's locking in that Koji clutch on Indy Hartwell here. She's got nowhere to go. Center of the ring. Hartwell taps out to Shirai. Fantastic contest between these two women here tonight. Credit where it's due. Indy Hartwell showing out in her debut on the main roster. But no matter how much she gave to this contest, Io Shirai walking out of main event this evening, the better woman. But Indy Hartwell in her debut, definitely going to live to fight another day, and we'll be back for more. But on this night, Io Shirai is the woman getting her hand raised on the main event after SummerSlam. On the next episode of Universe Mode in the main event, all day Austin Theory has got another task ahead of him, and the Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton. What a one-on-one -on -one contest that is going to be, but also coming up next week on Monday Night Raw, it is the return of the original bro, Riddle, for the first time since being attacked in the parking lot over a month ago. Riddle is back in action, and he will be live on Monday Night Raw, coming up with the next episode of WWE 2K22 Universe Mode, episode number 36. It is time for your main event here this evening. The big cruiserweight six-man tag team affair. Legato Del Fantasma has got a score to settle with Isaiah Swerve Scott and the new cruiserweight champion of the world, Ricochet. And I gotta say, Santos Escobar just looks a little bit different without the gold around his waist. The following contest is a six-man tag team match on the way to the ring. 
at a combined weight of 565 pounds. Raul Mendoza, Joaquin Wilde, and Santos Escobar, Legado del Fantasma. Santos Escobar has been perfect the last number of months, ever since he originally won the Cruiserweight Championship back on April the 11th at Backlash. Santos Escobar scored victories over Isaiah Swerve Scott, Kushida, Grand Metalik, and more. But coming up at SummerSlam last Sunday night, he went one-on-one -on -one with Ricochet and seemingly meant his match as the one and only defeated the leader of Legado del Fantasma on that night and became the new Cruiserweight Champion. Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza were banned from ringside in that contest. We're not there to help their leader, but tonight they got a chance to settle the score against one of these men and more. Here comes the Swerve, Isaiah Scott. And from Tacoma, Washington, weighing in at 201 pounds, Isaiah Swerve Scott. And as Isaiah makes his way to the ring, we're here to relive the history. As we mentioned last Sunday night, Santos Escobar and Ricochet tearing down the house in Phoenix, Arizona, an incredible cruiserweight contest. Ricochet truly throwing everything he had at Santos Escobar. And credit where it's due, Escobar survived the onslaught from the one and only on numerous occasions. But in the end, Ricochet found Santos Escobar in a precarious situation, hit him with that recall knee, and took him down long enough to regain the cruiserweight championship for the very first time in his WWE career. It was an awesome night. Once again, go check out the SummerSlam replay if you missed it. You can go find that right here on the Nomination Gaming YouTube channel. But here comes tag team partner number one for the swerve, the new cruiserweight champion of the world, the one, the only, Ricochet is in the house, here to main event live from Orlando. And from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in. 190 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Ricochet! Ricochet looks good with the gold around his waist. He's a former United States Champion, former NXT North American Champion, and now he can add the Cruiserweight Championship to his list of accolades here in the WWE. Legato Del Fantasma set for this matchup against Isaiah Swerve Scott Ricochet, but who did those two men choose to be their tag team partner here tonight, live from Orlando? Wait a minute! What? Stand back! Oh my goodness! There's a hurricane coming through! The Swerve and the one and only! Found a superhero of a tag team partner! Weighing in at 215 pounds, the Hurricane! What a surprise here tonight! The Hurricane is back here in the WWE! And the former Cruiserweight Champion in his own right is set to team up with the current champion and the Swerve against Legato Del Fantasma. What a surprise! Here tonight on the main event after SummerSlam. The Hurricane is in the house and we're gonna see him in action right here, right now. It is main event time from Orlando. Legato Del Fantasma versus the Swerve, Ricochet, and the Hurricane. Let's get things going. What a surprise in our main event. And I can't believe I'm saying it right now, but we're kicking off this contest with Raul Mendoza and the Hurricane in this six-man tag team matchup. The Hurricane's looking good, taking down Mendoza. What a surprise. Hurricane back in action. Officially a, a part of the WWE yet again, seemingly. And team it up with Isaiah Swerve Scott and the current Cruiserweight Champion Ricochet. Hurricane's looking good, coming out swinging since the opening bell. Oh, it takes a shot from Mendoza there. We gotta bring ourselves back down to earth for a second because we talked about it. Legato Del Fantasma looking to settle the score here tonight. You know they're gonna be coming out swinging. Remember, it was just last week on main event. Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza meant Isaiah Swerve Scott and Ricochet in just a tag team contest. And they lost to Ricochet 
And the swerve on that night. Wait a minute. A hurricane and a ricochet. Our tag team up on the top rope. Get a load of this. Double team maneuver from the Hurricane and the Cruiserweight Champion on Joaquin Wilde. Ricochet into the cover here. Joaquin Wilde gets the shoulder up. And as we mentioned, it was last week on main event. The Legato del Fantasma took a loss to the Swerve and Ricochet, and it was because of that win for Ricochet that Legato del Fantasma was not able to be at ringside for Santos Escobar last Sunday night in Phoenix. And Ricochet here with the Moonsault. Ricochet going to the cover on Joaquin Wilde. Gets the two count, but not enough just yet. So back-to-back -back nights. Last week on main event, and then SummerSlam. Legato del Fantasma coming up short against the one and only. And of course, the swerve on main event, so big time score to settle for those three men. Definitely gonna be coming in tonight with a fire underneath of them. Whether the Hurricane, which I still can't believe I'm saying is involved or not. A little tag team offense from Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza here. Ricochet's down, Mendoza's going to the top rope. Ricochet, a little bit dazed. I don't know if Mendoza's halfway, oh, Mendoza, I was about to say, I don't know if he's gonna be able to make it all the way across the ring. Ricochet's a little far here. Mendoza elects for a more impactful maneuver. Making Ricochet eat the canvas. Both Ricochet and Santos Escobar, as we mentioned, went through a very physical and high offense contest at SummerSlam for the Cruiserweight Championship. So you gotta wonder what the condition of those two men is gonna be coming in to this contest here tonight. Ricochet tagging in the swerve, Isaiah Scott. It's very interesting, you know, the past, this makes two weeks now that Isaiah Swerve Scott's been on the side of the one and only Ricochet. But remember, Ricochet, he originally qualified to face Santos Escobar at SummerSlam by defeating Isaiah Swerve Scott in the finals of the Cruiserweight Championship Eliminator there. So even though you got that friendship, you gotta wonder if Isaiah, now that he, I wanna say, assisted Ricochet in gaining the Cruiserweight Championship at SummerSlam, it was a part of the reason why Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza weren't involved in that contest. You gotta wonder if the Swerve is eyeing up a future opportunity at the Cruiserweight Championship. And we'll all tell in due time as we are back to where we started at SummerSlam between Ricochet and Santos Escobar in the ring. And look at that, Ricochet! German suplex into the bridge. If it weren't for, weren't for the rope break there, excuse me, Mud had an early ending for the night for Legado del Fantasma. Back in action as we Mentioned following up where we left them at SummerSlam. Santos Escobar's got a score to settle with the one and only here. And I'm sure it just ain't about getting the hand raised tonight. It's about doing some damage on the new Cruiserweight Champion. Well, Santos Escobar takes out the one and only and decides to tag in Joaquin Wilde. To let his two henchmen, if you will, do a little dirty work. It's Joaquin Wilde, a little bit of a crossbody there, takes down a ricochet. And the momentum has rolled straight into the corner of Legato del Fantasma. Ricochet trying to go for that drop kick there. Joaquin Wilde takes him down into the cover on the one and only. And Ricochet gets the shoulder up. Ricochet needs a tag and he gets it. And he tags in. The Hurricane here comes out swinging. Joaquin Wilde dodges him. Trying to go for a shot and he takes him down with the neck breaker. Oh, Ricochet's not even out of the ring yet, but Joaquin Wilde taking advantage. And absolutely ruling the ring, credit to him, like him or not. Takes down the champion, takes down Hurricane. Wait a minute, Hurricane Helms is up. Trying to knock Joaquin Wild off the top rope. The Hurricane sends him for a ride. And I can't believe we're calling this six-man tag team match here tonight. With the returning Hurricane involved. Certainly when you looked at the Cruiserweight locker room, Certainly wasn't a name you thought Isaiah Swerve Scott and Ricochet were going to pull out of the hat for the six-man tag team match here tonight. But there he is, live and in living color, making his return to the WWE. Joaquin Wilde, Legado del Fantasma, taking control of the Hurricane at the current moment. Trying to tame the onslaught from the returning superstar there. Joaquin Wilde takes him over. As we mentioned, the Hurricane, throughout his... Many renditions in his career, whether it's Sugar Shane Helms in WCW, or the Hurricane, or Gregory Helms here in the WWE. Several Cruiserweight Championship reigns for that superstar right there. He knows how to get it done inside of the ring. He's also been in there with some all-time greats. The Hurricane owns a victory during his career, during the great one, The Rock. And Hurricane, look at this, looking to keep his momentum going, takes down Joaquin Wilde. Stand back, the Hurricane's coming through with a splash for the top. 
Looking to gain the win for his team. Akeem Wilde gets the shoulder up and ricochet. Look at that. Trying to help out his tag team partner there. Took Mendoza out. Hurricane went for the senton there. Had his back turned. Joaquin Wilde got out of harm's way. There's the swerve breaking it up. But this is always the interesting part about these six-man tag team matches. Is waiting for when things are going to eventually break down. Hurricane sends Santos out of the ring. Ricochet knocks him off the apron. Meanwhile, Joaquin Wilde took the swerve out. Now we're back where we started with Joaquin Wilde and the Hurricane in this trios contest here this evening. Hurricane takes him down. He's feeling the momentum here. Advantage is firmly in control of the Hurricane's corner at the moment. Throws for the leg drop there. Joaquin Wilde gets out of the way. You gotta say, if anybody's got the momentum at least coming into this matchup, it's definitely the Hurricane. Ricochet in the swerve. Look at this. Wait a minute. Joaquin Wilde, what a maneuver. Rolling into that double knees there. Takes the Hurricane out. That might be enough to put him away, but they're not going to follow it up with it just yet. Santos Escobar decides it's time for him to get his hands dirty in this contest and meet the Hurricane for the first time. He drops the leg. The Hurricane's down. Santos Escobar has got his eyes on the superhero. Goes for a shot. Wait a minute. Hurricane is feeling it here at the clothesline. Hey, Hurricane knows how to be a tag team partner. He's a former world tag team champion himself. Definitely an awesome pick by the Swerve and Ricochet here tonight. And as I mentioned, they're coming in with their momentum. Victories in their corners as of late. Ricochet riding the high of SummerSlam is the new champion. The Hurricane making his return. Legado del Fantasma is really fighting an uphill battle the way I see it. Ricochet's back in here working on Santos Escobar. SummerSlam rematch, if you will. Ricochet shooting sword press. And trying to make it two victories in a row on the leader of Legado del Fantasma, but Santos Escobar says no. Ricochet follows it up, but this time a standing shooting star press inside the squared circle. And now it's got him up. Wait a minute, Ricochet ties him up. And Santos goes down. Once again into the cover goes the Cruiserweight Champion, but Santos gets the shoulder up. A couple of close calls in, the, in, the, in a row for Ricochet, excuse me. Not enough just yet. Santos makes a desperate tag to Raul Mendoza, who at some point this matchup got cut open, but Ricochet taking advantage there. Mendoza's down. Santos Escobar down and out outside the ring. Meanwhile, Mendoza takes advantage of the Cruiserweight Champion. And it's gonna, could be about to score the victory. Ricochet breaks out of that. Yeah, what a six-man tag team match we were getting on main event. It's been an incredible night of action here inside the squared circle in the main event after SummerSlam. Dominic Dijakovic picking up that victory over the Swiss Superman Cesaro. Wait a minute, Ricochet. Look at that recall knee on Mendoza. And into the corner, but uh, lucky for Mendoza. Joaquin Wild got it at the last second. And Ricochet takes Joaquin Wild down. The Swerve's going to look to take care of him. Meanwhile, Ricochet's trying to follow it up on the offense from Mendoza. Oh, wait a minute. Ricochet's heading to the top. Shooting star press. Into the cover he goes. Oh, but Mendoza at the last second gets the shoulder up. Man, you don't like the tactics of Legato del Fantasma sometimes, but you can't take away their talent inside the ropes. And as we're talking about the in-ring action tonight on main event, what a fun night it has been, an exciting night to watch. Dominic Dijakovic with the win over Cesaro that opened us up here tonight. Io Shirai picked up the victory over the debuting Indy Hartwell, and now we're here in the six-man tag team matchup. Ricochet after an onslaught of offense, 6.30 on Mendoza. Oh, wait a minute, Santos is right there. Ricochet's got to watch. He almost had the cover, but Santos Escobar breaks it up. That's twice now that Ricochet may have been able to put Mendoza away, but the numbers were a little too much. He takes down Santos there. Mendoza's down as well. Ricochet once again heading to the top rope. And Ricochet goes for the elbow drop, but Mendoza had it scouted. He'd been playing possum there as he was down for a moment. Saw the one and only coming. Now we got a tag by Legado del Fantasma, Joaquin Wild. Going to save a beaten and bruised tag team partner here. Mendoza took a lot of offense the last number of minutes. Joaquin's the legal man. Ricochet wisely tags him out. 
why he's got the moment. Isaiah Swerve Scott comes in, and a nice pump kick to Wild there, takes him down. And as a swerve, the fresh competitor in this contest, along with Joaquin Wild, looking to put him away there with that knee strike, missed it. And Joaquin Wild with the rolling knees again. Now we get a tag to Mendoza, and I don't know if that's smart. Mendoza's really taking a lot of offense in this contest. Plus, he's got the blood trickling from the forehead here. But either way, Isaiah Swerve Scott's looking to put him away here. Mendoza's down. Look at this. The Swerve drops the elbow to the back. And what cruiserweight action we are seeing in this six-man tag team matchup. A lot of high, exhilarating offense. Mendoza's got a hold of the Swerve, sending him into the corner. Cuts him off there with that Insiguri. Nice maneuver. And Mendoza may have just won this match for Legado del Fantasma. Into the cover he goes. The Swerve's down, but the Swerve gets the shoulder up. And Isaiah may be feeling the pressure here. Taking the beating from Legado del Fantasma. Can he survive? Santos Escobar's in. Santos Escobar and Isaiah Swerve Scott. These two men have history. Escobar defeated Swerve during his Cruiserweight Championship reign back at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. On May 2nd of this year. And Isaiah looking to battle out. Oh, look at this. Isaiah Swerve Scott sees he's trapped into the corner and he's trying to fight his way out of it. Takes Joaquin Wild off. Mendoza tries to grab a hold as well, but the Swerve knocks him off. Isaiah fighting his way out of Legado del Fantasma territory here. Santos Escobar's down. Isaiah's headed to the top. Double stop by the Swerve. And that may be the final nail in the coffin tonight. And it is. Logano del Fantasma. It is a rough territory for them men to be in right now as they take another loss to the one and only, to the swerve, and to the superhero here tonight. That was a hell of an exciting cruiserweight tag team affair in our main event here this evening. Logano del Fantasma throwing everything they had at him, but unfortunately the bad luck bug continues to strike as they Here take a loss. Are your winners, the Hurricane, Ricochet, and Isaiah Swerve Scott. I think you got to look at the Swerve as a possible contender for that man right there's Cruiserweight Championship. Will we see the Swerve versus Ricochet in the near future? But what about the surprise, the return of the WWE's resident superhero, the Hurricane, tonight? Thank you for joining us on Main Event, and we will see you on the next episode of WWE Universe Mode. Good night, everybody. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a ride.